What up Zen Dude Nation? We got a 10 minute jump rope workout for you. No funny business today. We're gonna do a 90 second warm up, take 15 seconds to catch your breath, and then we're getting right into two high intensity interval training circuits that we're using a jump rope for. For each one of these circuits, we're gonna be doing 30 seconds per exercise with a 10 second break in between. And in between the two circuits that we do in this 10 minute workout, we're gonna take a 30 second rest and let you catch your breath before finishing it off. Before we get into this workout, I cannot emphasize enough how important it is for you to go all out with your effort. You need to leave everything you have on the field or on the court or wherever you jump a rope. When we only do 10 minutes of exercise, we wanna up the ante and we wanna give this everything we have with our effort so we can burn the most amount of calories in the least amount of time. Let's get after it. All right, fam, let's get after it. We're starting off with jumping jacks for the first exercise of the warm up, and here we go. So you get 90 seconds in this warm up. You really wanna go about moderate intensity. Don't kill yourself here. Just get your body warmed up, start moving. You're gonna see here, we're rotating through exercises. So now you're moving on to air squats. Really focusing on pushing those knees out and dropping that butt down to about knee level. So you want to create that 90 degree angle between your hamstrings and your calves. Same thing here with the lunges, keeping it nice and controlled and creating that 90, 90 degree angle between your calves and your hamstrings. Great work. Finishing up here, we got 30 more seconds. And now we're moving on to the workout. Here we go. Jump those jacks. We're gonna finish here with some air squats. 10 seconds left, here we go. Finish strong. Three, two, one, rest. Now you got 15 seconds and we're going right into jump rope break of a bounce. Like I said before you got into this workout, all out effort with each one of these exercises, you only have 10 minutes total. You already got two minutes down, so you have eight more minutes, let's rock. As fast as you can, jump rope regular bounce. Again, focusing on barely bringing the ball of your feet off the ground and making all the movement happen in your wrist here. I'm gonna move to the side here and let you see this angle. See, my feet are barely coming off the ground. And really the only thing that's moving here is on my wrist and the man butt a little bit. So I think that thing's you know popping around because it does its own thing. It's got a mind of its own. Good rest. Take a deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. We got jump rope run in place coming up right now. And again here with jump rope run in place, we want most of the movement to happen through our wrist and we want to barely be bringing the balls of our feet off the ground. Keep it nice and controlled, keep that core tight, spinning that rope as fast as you can. Really trying to get the most out of these exercises. I'm going as hard as I can here. I'm spinning this rope just as fast as I can. So you're gonna see I get super winded. I wanted to include the rest periods like you see right here. So you can see how winded I actually get through these workouts. This is not easy for me easier. This is not easy for me either. All right, jump rope side straddle. Let's get into it. The key here is, is to be exploding off the balls of your feet back and forth. We're really working on our lateral movement here. And again, really just going as hard as you can so we can burn as many calories as possible in this short 10 minute workout. All right, three, two, one, rest. You're gonna notice through some of these exercises, I go a little bit into the rest period and sometimes I start a little bit late. Don't worry about it. Do the best you can to just follow along. So unlike the run in place with the high knees, we're really driving our knees up or down. We're trying to get those knees as close as we can to waist level of high. Keeping the intensity up here, you only got 10 more seconds for the sex size. Here we go, finish strong. And 
and go ahead and rest. Again here, you're still keeping everything controlled and it looks like this is an effortless movement for me but it's actually really working it pretty hard. You can see I'm spinning that rope as fast as I can on my wrist. I'm just trying to keep the movement as controlled as I can with my feet. Alright, go ahead and chill out. You're going to see I'm going to go into the rest breaks into a lot of these. Follow the timer as much as you can. That's going to guarantee that you're doing it for exactly 30 seconds. And jump rope double unders. Again, here you're really focusing on exploding up, keeping your body as stretched out and vertical as possible. Keep your hands down, it's going to make you make it easier to do these rotations for the double under. So you can see here, I mess up too, it happens. Doing double unders for 30 seconds straight is not easy. And uh, don't worry about it if you mess up. So now you got a 30 second rest, take a deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth, gather your composure here. We're going to go through that circuit one more time in about 20 seconds here. So get ready to rock, do what you got to do, get a sip of water if you need it, and we're going to get right back into it. All right, right back after, jump rope, regular bounce, let's go. As fast as you can, barely bringing those ball, the balls of your feet off the ground, spinning that rope as fast as you can with the wrists, keeping those arms and core nice and tight. Finish strong, 15 seconds. And go ahead and rest. Gotta tie my shoes. Gotta keep your shoes tied. Safety first. You guys like that Zen Dojo behind me? Alright, jump rope run in place. Again, do your best to barely be bringing your feet off the ground here. You just wanna spin that rope as fast as you can. Keep everything controlled, tight. And really just sprinting here. All out effort. Let's go. Ten more seconds, let's finish strong. Here we go, take a deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth, let's get right back into it. Jump rope side straddle, exploding back and forth here, all out effort, give it everything you have, only a few exercises left. Finish strong here, 10 seconds more. Again, don't give up on form here. Keep your form tight, let's go. And go ahead and rest. Take a deep breath, calm yourself. Back at it, all out effort, let's go. 30 seconds, come on. Driving those knees up as high as you can. We're really aiming and try to get those as high as our waist every time. You can see here, as I get fatigued, even I have trouble doing it at times, but you want to push yourself as hard as you can, do your best. Five more seconds, finish strong. Awesome work, go ahead and chill. 10 seconds, deep breath into your nose, out through your mouth. Get ready to rock. Let's roll. Again here, you're still trying to spin that rope as fast as you can. We're just doing those little double taps with each foot. We're doing them as fast as we can. Keep it tight. Finish strong here. Let's go. 
All right, you got one more exercise. You're done for the day. You give it everything you have. If you can't do jump rope double runners, just do jump rope regular balance as fast as you can. Let's go. All out effort here, finish strong. 20 seconds, you're done for the day. Here we go, finish strong. Five more seconds and you're done with this workout. Way to go, Zendi Nation, we done. If you enjoyed this video, please give the video a like, give it a subscribe, you know, tell a friend. Drop a comment below if you have any questions. And finally, if you want more workouts like this, we have a free four week challenge. I'll link it up in the top right hand corner of the screen for you. Hop in, we'll give you four weeks of jump rope and body weight workouts. We'll give you an awesome community. We'll give you some mentorship for myself and Dan. It's a great deal, hop in there, you will not regret it. And if you wanna use the jump rope that we use throughout this workout and we use in just about every other workout you're gonna see on a YouTube channel, I'll link it up in the top right hand corner for you right now as well. So grab that and you'll have a gym anywhere you are in the world. Thanks for watching today guys and we'll see you in the next high intensity jump rope workout.